This video will show how Factory Talk Optics provides a responsive design. For this video, we will use a simple project similar to the ones used in other Getting Started videos. In addition to showing the responsive design capability, this video will use some basic concepts of Factory Talk Optics, such as containers and navigation, that were introduced in a previous video. First, let's examine the width and height properties of the main window. The main window is where all the elements in a project are displayed. When navigation is performed, the set of elements to be shown are just changed within the main window. We can see that the width is set for 800 and the height for 400. This is the default resolution we specified for our project. However, we will see during development how we can create a project that easily scales to other resolutions, therefore creating a responsive design. Next, we will create a new folder under the UI folder. Folders provide a way to better organize a project. Navigate to the project view and right-click on the UI folder. Hover over New, then Find and select Folder. Rename the folder to My Panels and press Enter. Feel free to rename this folder to whatever name you prefer. Next, we will add a container under the My Panels folder. Factory Talk Optics uses containers to house and organize elements that are used in a project. These containers are similar to displays or screens in other visualization software. Right click on the My Panels folder, hover over New, then hover over Containers. Here we see a list of all the containers supported by Factory Talk Optics. Select Panel. It is best practice to rename Panel 1 to a more meaningful name. We will leave it as the default name Panel 1 for this video. Change the horizontal and vertical alignments to Stretch. This will allow the panel to easily be resized or scaled during runtime, therefore creating a responsive design. Change the width to 600. This is just to make it easier to add elements to the panel. Double-click Panel 1 to open it on the design canvas. Next, we will add three LEDs to panel one. Navigate to Type View. Double-click the User Interface folder. Double-click the Base Controls folder. Click and drag the LED element to panel one. Repeat this process to add two more LEDs to panel one. Now we will modify the position of the LEDs. Select LED1. Change the value of left margin to 0. Change the value of top margin to 100. Select LED2. Change the horizontal alignment to center. Change the left margin to zero. Change the top margin to 100. Select LED3 and change the horizontal alignment to right. Verify the right margin is set to zero. Change the top margin to 100. Next, we will add another panel. We can copy and paste panel 1 in order to create the second panel. Right-click panel 1 and select Copy. Right-click the My Panels folder and select Paste. We now have a panel called Panel 2. Double-click Panel 2 to open it on the design canvas. Let us add another LED to Panel 2. From the Type view, click and drag an LED to Panel 2. Change the horizontal alignment to center.
change the left margin to 0, change the top margin to 200. Since we have two panels, we will need a way to navigate between them. We can do this by using a navigation panel. The navigation panel will be added to the main window since this is where all the project elements are shown during runtime. Right click on Main Window. Hover over New. Then hover over Containers and select Navigation Panel. Change the horizontal and vertical alignments to stretch to allow the navigation panel to be easily scaled during runtime. Double click the navigation panel to open it on the design canvas. Drag panel 1 to the header portion of the navigation panel. Then drag panel 2 next to panel 1 on the navigation panel. Now let's start the Factory Talk Optics emulator and see how responsive our project is at runtime. Grab the bottom right corner of the screen and drag it back and forth. Notice that the LEDs retain their relative position and shape. Select Panel 2. Grab the bottom right corner of the screen and drag it back and forth. Once again, notice that the LEDs retain their relative position and shape. This video has shown how Factory Talk Optics provides the ability to configure a project so that it can be easily scaled. This means that a single project can be designed to run on multiple devices that have different resolutions. Thanks for watching this video.